this week's challenge is all about bubbles. Hi, back in the kitchen. Good place to start for doing some bubbles. Um, rather than actually blowing some bubbles to start off with, I thought I'd just show you some really very simple ideas, um, which doesn't take any effort on your part or mine um, to show you. Um, washing up liquid. We all know that's where any brand will do, not necessarily this one. Uh, <laughs> um, had to achieve some really interesting bubble pictures. Um, rather than start mixing it up, um, if you have, whether or not it's a green one or whatever colour washing up liquid you've got, and there's probably some tucked under the sink, even if you've got a dishwasher, you'll still have some, some uh, normal bubble mixture. Um, we've got a window uh, in the kitchen, um, and what I'm gonna do is, as you see, there's a, if I give the bottle a little bit of a shake, and it's quite a thick mixture, bubbles start appearing in the mixture. So then, what we do, I don't, don't want to do it too much, because if you do it too much, you get the bubbles just disappear completely. You're better off, actually, if the bottle's half empty, because then you can get some big lumps of air into it, rather than lots of little, because this is a full one. Um, but even so, I should do, take a picture like this. So what I should do is then just stand it on my windowsill. If I, if I move it round, obviously I'm going to get a bit of a uh, flare off the glass, uh, off the light coming in. So you might you might lose me a little bit. Oh, look, it's not the most exciting picture out of my window, but it's quite interesting because I've got the truck there, and it's got some red lights on the back of it as well as well as you've got green hedge and um, but if we're going to use so I've put it there and so the light's coming in and it's behind and anything behind it it's going to reflect all the different shapes and colours right so it just shows you how simple this is going to be um, camera I'm going to use AV actual priority um, ISO on today it's quite bright out there so I'm going to go 100 because I want the quality to be the best, right? And I want a really short field of depth again. So all I'm gonna do is actually take some pictures of the bubbles through the plastic. So I haven't really done anything at all. So let's do some. Just get the focus spot on. And as if you move it up and down, you're whatever the background is behind it. So if you've got red lights, you'll get a red blur behind it. Or if it's just green, or even so, you could put something else behind it as well. So um, if you've got a wheelie bin outside the back door, blue wheelie bin or whatever, have that slightly in the background. Um, because with a short field of depth, all you'll be taking is the actual bubbles and nothing else. Uh, so it's a really simple, quick way of doing it. There's other things. We've got um, kitchen cleaner side. It's got bubbles in it. Do the same thing. Put them in the window sill. And take some pictures. And, but think about what colours can be behind it. I mean, obviously you can go on from there and you can do lots of more interesting things. And that's without even making bubbles, that's just using a straightforward container from the kitchen sink onto there. Um, another good one you could do. Another very quick one to do is obviously, I'm in the kitchen, I've got the kitchen sink. I shall move you a bit closer. I have a black bowl. Black bowls seem to work the best in, inside. Um, run a bit of water into a bowl, a um, little bit of washing up liquid, it's by the window, give it a little slosh, I'll use warm water because it doesn't make any difference as far as the bubbles are concerned, actually cold's actually better for bubbles because it holds them together better, 
but obviously. And then, we've got the light coming in, a black bowl around it, and they make some pretty interesting pictures. There you go, look at that. I mean, how easy was that to do? But what you do find is diffuse light works better. And when I say diffuse light, it means not direct. Obviously it's coming in through the window here, but it's quite a grey day out there. Um, so if you use flash and you try it inside up the bowl like that, it's going to keep bouncing round. And you might find the light's too harsh. So you can, if you've got a diffuser on it, um, whether or not your flash has got one on it, or if you're using one built into it, you could just use, I don't know, um, tea towel across it, or you could put, use a bit of kitchen roll, or something just to diffuse the light a little bit. Hi, this is the little bit more advanced. I've got a black background behind me. Uh, I've used a top of an aerosol can. I find black works better than the lighter colours. Obviously, if you have to work with what you've got. So, I mean, but I have got a black one, so I'm going to use that today. Um, I've knocked up 50-50 of some washing up liquid and water. Um, obviously, if you've got any glycerin, it will keep the bubbles from exploding in the last about five minutes if you have. Uh, doesn't need a lot in there. If you haven't got any, sugar works as well. Um, not as well, but it helps. Uh, but today I'm not going to use any at all. So I'm going to fill up my pot. Um, and I've got some light coming in from the window. And I'm going to blow a few bubbles into the pot. So put it on a, I've got a plate. So I'm going to put it on a plate. Uh, and that way it saves any spillage, but obviously you're only going to see the very top of it. Um, fill that up with the bubble mixture. And then if you've got a straw, stick it in and blow some bubbles in. If you haven't got a straw, use a pen. So take the end out and, the, and you've got a straw. So there's no excuse not to be able to do these. Um, I shall show you some more on this one in a second of the settings and stuff. After I've set it up. So I've put my bubble mixture in my pot. Um, I'm going to use my straw or my pen, blow some bubbles in it. Right. Um, obviously, I've, I've set the camera up on the tripod. I, you can use aperture priority if you want to. I'm just using manual so you can see what the settings actually are today. Um, what obviously what you want to do is rather than like we've done in the kitchen go for a very go for if you're going to do use an aperture priority the camera's on the tripod ISO 100 and use a very high f number so it goes as high as it will go like f22 f20 um, is a good start so I'm going to flick over so you can see on the screen um, what's going on there we go we've got some bubbles and they are popping you can see they're popping as we go along obviously if you use glycerine or sugar then they would stay longer um, right what we're going to do now is um, there's not going to be we're not going to use the flash to start off with I'm just using the natural light coming through the window so I've left this on manual but you could use aperture priority this is just so you can see what's going on um, so ISO 100 and if you're not using flash which we can do that in a second but we'll do it just using natural light um, we need to steal a fairly low F number to allow as much lighting as possible um, but it will shorten the focal depth of it right um, so then uh, adjust the light the speed according to the light you've got um, so if I flick over now um, to live view, 
that it will pop up on the computer in a second. You can see what's going on there. Um, a thirteenth of a second, but it's whatever the camera can allow you to do. Obviously, if you're um, hand holding it, you're going to need a faster speed because it's going to shake. But obviously, on a tripod, it's not a problem. Um, so I'm going to blow a few bubbles so you can see what's. Right, as you can see on the screen, I mean, and I'm going to take a picture on you. Um, if you've got a remote trigger, then that works well. Um, it reduces any shake you're going to get because obviously, just touching the camera, you're going to get shake in it. So, I'll switch over. trigger and then get a nice sharp image and of course obviously the pop bubbles are popping uh, if you've got glycerine or, or add some sugar to it it will actually keep the bubbles up further um, so remote trigger take a picture as it is yeah that's quite happy with that now we can go on to the next stage all right, the next bit is going to be a little bit more advanced. Um, so remember which end of the straw you already stuck in the in the bubble mixture, so it's not you don't put it in your mouth and go. Oh. It's not as if you do that, would you? Do that? Right. So I've got my bubble mixture there, and I found the easiest way is to blow a cup, a few bubbles, so it's on the surface, and lift your straw out or whatever you're using and actually just reinsert it into one of the bubbles. So it's not all the way in. There you go. And we have a bubble, as you can see probably on live view. Um, there's obviously a lot of glare coming in from the window. Um, I could shut the curtains, but you won't see me on the video. Uh, I'm going to use aperture priority again. Uh, I've got the flash set up on the side. Obviously, you could use the flash on the top. Uh, it worked probably just as well. Uh, obviously, you're going to get a little bit of splash back off the off the back. Uh, aperture priority. Um, F twenty. I'm going for. I've got remote trigger. If you haven't got remote trigger, then you can always use just the timer on the camera. Right. Flash has gone off taking an image. Uh, obviously, if I draw the curtains, I'm going to get less light coming in here, so the rest of the room is going to be darker. Um, so normally you draw the curtains just so the only light source is the light source you're using off the flash. Um, don't have to. I mean, um, you can try different angles, but what you, if you see in the live view, you get the reflection of the window in there. Um, you could think about actually what the reflection is. You could be a reflection of yourself in there. Um, obviously, if you do have problems with the bubbles bursting, then you need some glycerine or some sugar in there. That will help. Um, I mean, these seem to last without it for about 30 seconds, um, which seems to be long enough to do what I need to do today. Um, so hopefully that's given you a few ideas. And if you've got any problems um, or you're interested in knowing any more, uh, leave me some feedback and we'll go from there. Thank you.